This is a story about a young man named Jack. His dad had his heart set on Jack playing college football one day. The problem, Jack hated playing football. As a ninth grader at John Glenn High, he played quarterback. Jack had thrown 21 interceptions in his first three games, but his dad told him he would get better. His dad was a good guy, but thought Jack needed to be pushed. What he didn't know was Jack loved engineering and aviation. Jack knew only one in 10,000 could make a living playing football. Jack's mom just wanted Jack to be happy. She was worried about his grades. She knew he was smart, but his grades were just dreadful. He had great friends, but he knew he was not big and tough, like a football player needed to be. He didn't know how to come out to his mom and dad and tell them he hated football. One evening, before dinner his mom and dad wanted to talk to him about his poor grades and him seeming depressed. His dad told him to be patient, and he would start doing better at football. Sure, their last loss, 52-3 was hard to take, but he just needed to keep trying. His mom asked him why his grades were so bad with as much time as he spends in the school's library. What his mom and dad didn't know was Jack was not studying while in the library. He was reading about aviation and engineering. Jack loved everything about flying. He had no time at home to read books about airplanes as his dad was always having him work out or practice football. Jack wanted to go to college one day to be an aeronautical engineer, but knew his dad would hate that. His mom shared she was worried as he seemed so unhappy and never seemed to smile. She was very worried that he had depression. His mom also shared that she was worried about his bedroom and all the pictures and posters. They were all so depressing and showed failures and bad ideas. She just didn't understand what was going on with her son. His mom then asked him what would make him more happy. Jack shared he needed to come out and tell them the truth. He took a deep breath and said he didn't really like football that much and wanted to go to engineering college one day. He said most football players don't make it past college ball. He then explained that most have to fall back on a business degree and don't make it. Then they become used car salesmen. He said if he could stop playing football, he would get all A pluses. He also shared his love for aviation and rockets. His mom and dad didn't know what to say. His dad thought he loved football, but his dad wondered if he had been a jerk to his son. His mom said he could do anything he wanted to as long as his grades come up, but to get into a top engineering school would take great grades. Jack gave a thumbs up and said he would have all top-notch grades. He thanked them and said he was going to be an engineer one day, the best ever. His mom loved the smile on his face. Over the next seven weeks, Jack worked hard in class. No more daydreaming. He knew he had to prove to everyone he could get his grades up. Jack's mom saw how hard he was working in school and decided to get him a flight simulator. He had no idea how cool it would be to fly a simulation of RC model aircraft. Jack's mom was so happy to see her son happy and laughing. But little did she know that this was the spark that would ignite her son's future in aviation and engineering. Each night after finishing up his homework, Jack would spend an hour perfecting his skills as a RC pilot. He wanted a real RC plane to fly. He hoped if he got his grades up, he could get his mom to buy one. It would be a lot less than all the money they were spending on his football. Jack's report card came and he had all A's. His mom and dad were so proud of their son. Jack was so happy. He then told his parents he could be an engineer without any doubt. A month later Jack had his first RC plane. It was a park flyer. He then joined the AMA and loved it. A vast organization just for RC modelers. His mom and dad were also happy as Jack's room was now full of positive pictures and posters. A year later he was flying bigger RC planes. He also decided he wanted to go to Purdue University. But being a sophomore meant he needed to get excellent grades until he finished high school. Years later after graduating college, Jack would become a systems engineer for the first mission to a minor planet in the asteroid belt. In an interview for the magazine, Nerds Are Us, Jack gave credit to model aviation for his inspiration to being a systems engineer. So that is the story about Jack.
There are many Jacks in the world who have dreams of aviation. Our next story will be about a young girl named Julie. When 11, Julie dreamed of becoming a cheerleader for the NBA, but that all changed when she met a female pilot for a large airline. 